What's up guys, Jarv here, back today jumping into Destiny 2. Now today is Friday, which means our friendly neighbourhood trash collector Zer uh, is back once again. We are over on Io this week. You'll find him over in the giant scar, just over here on the north side in his little cave. Let's have a look and see what goodies he's got for us this week. Cool, okay. So we have the exotic engram. So as we know, if you're still collecting anything in your collections, then be sure to pick this up to fill that out. If you do, however, already have a full collection, then this has an opportunity to drop a random piece of exotic armor, hopefully with a higher stat roll for you. So if you're looking to get any good rolls on your armor, be sure to pick this up if you need it. Quick skim then. So we have the Lord of Wolves as the exotic weapon of the week. Stompies for the Hunter. Doom Marchers for the Titan. And Sanguine Alchemy for the Warlock. Uh, consumables. So your Five of Swords will be here for your original Nightfall. And any invitations of the nine you can find here at the bottom. Weapon then, Lord of Walls. I don't think this needs any introduction. <laughs> it's an exotic shotgun. Uh, shrapnel launcher is the intrinsic perk. But it fires a powerful short range burst of solar damage. And release the walls where you hold R or reload to swap to a longer, more powerful burst. Everyone's got their opinion on Lords of Walls. Um, I just feel now we're probably going to see a lot more than we already have in Crucible, just because of how easily accessible this has now become. Um, it was originally part of the Spider Bounties back in the original launch of Destiny 2. It is now seemingly part of Xur's inventory as well. So if you don't have it, and I guess you want to have a bit of fun, then come and pick it up. And I can only apologise for anyone jumping in Crucible for the rest of the week. Right, Stompies for the Hunter. Arc Affinity, 48 stats, so relatively poor. Hydraulic Boosters, so it increases sprint speed and slide distance, improves high jump, strafe jump, and triple jump. These are very good for Crucible guys. Uh, it gives you great diversity in any jump that you want to use. Increased sprint speed is always beneficial inside the Crucible, as is slide distance with things like shotguns and things like that. So I personally like using these a lot when I'm on my Hunter in the Crucible. So definitely give them a go if you don't have them already. Titan in Doom Marchers. So we have uh, Linear Acutors. I believe that's how that's not said whatsoever. So it increases sprint speed. Sprinting builds up a static charge, and after melee attacking an enemy, that charge will chain damage to nearby enemies. And we have an Arc Affinity and a 50 stat. So again, relatively poor. Uh, these aren't the most popular boots for the Titan, but they are most definitely one of the more fun exotics to use as a titan and uh, they are one of the original ones so it's potentially that new light players may not have these so if you don't pick them up and give them a go they are pretty fun to use nevertheless and then finally for the warlock sanguine alchemy they have heightened senses so standing in a rift grants you and your allies heightened senses allow you to retain your radar while aiming down sights additionally nearby powerful enemies are visually marked and can be tracked without a line of sight so basically, this exotic gives you wall hacks in Crucible, so guardians will be visible when you're standing in a rift through walls. So it's a void affinity and a 51 stat. Um, Frostbolt was actually using this this week, actually, with a, a pretty interesting build in Crucible, and it looked incredibly powerful and incredibly strong. It's probably not used as often as we would probably like to see, um, and it's probably banned, I think, in quite a lot of tournaments whenever they take place just because of the wall hacks piece. But it's fun and it creates a different play style altogether. So again, if you don't have it, it's always worth picking up if you need it. That's going to wrap up Zer for this week, guys. He's got a mixed bag. And again, Crucible is going to be even more of a mess than we're probably used to just because of Lord of Wars being available. If you have enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a rating down below. That super helps me out here on the channel. And if you're new around here and want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, then you're in the right place and be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to jump back into the game as always, guys, but I will catch you all again very soon.